Okay, my members. <laughs> um, so we got the some calls. So these are also after sentence calls. And they aren't going to be in perfect order because once again, they sent me <laughs> the old call log. So I'm still waiting for the new call log. So I did listen to all the calls and I tried to put them in somewhat of an order, but not really. I mean, it's too much. It's too hard by the time you listen to them all and then try to, you know, figure out like, wait, that one was down here. So it's not, yeah, they're not going to be in order, but so these calls are going to be with Paula's fiance. She does exist. She is real. I've actually been in contact with her. I've been talking a lot to her actually. So she did want me to relay that he did appeal. She was able to actually get it done for him. Unfortunately, he was told by Randy and Jojo that they were working on it. And they probably were working on it. They were trying, but they just... I guess they didn't know how to do it. I don't know. So she got a little bit nervous and ended up calling his lawyer, Eldon. She ended up calling him like, hey, what's going on? Is his appeal in the process? And he's like, no, I mean, it's still pending. I know the paperwork was never done. So she had him send her the paperwork and she got it all turned in in time because it was coming down to like the last week. He needed to get it in because you only have so long to appeal. So she got it in. She talked to his lawyer. So it's it was just, if he would have just depended on Randy and Jojo, which he thought, oh, they're getting it done, he would have missed the expiration. Like I said, I don't doubt that Randy was probably trying to work on something, but he just maybe just didn't know how to do it. So his fiance, you know, like I said, called his lawyer and his lawyer sent her the stuff, the paperwork and stuff, and then she got it turned in. So she wanted me to up update you guys on that. There is going to be a lawyer she thinks that is interested in it. They were just waiting for the paperwork to come in. So uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated on that. And then... And uh, try to be nice, guys. Um, <laughs> you know, just try to remember to put yourself in people's situations and just don't be so quick to judge. And um, I am going to keep the comments off for this for a little bit just because it's just what I need to do right now because of everything that's going on. Try to be respectful and nice when we do talk about it and just uh, keep an open mind, please. And um yeah, I definitely want to chat with you guys about everything. You know, I, I would like to listen to at least the first after sentence calls that I released. The first two that I released. Um, I, I still want to do a live listening of that. And then this this actually is only going to be available for members at the moment. So so you guys are getting an exclusive video because because the stuff that I am making public, it won't... I'll have to edit it a little bit more. So you all are getting an exclusive here. This has to stay within the members. Just please respect that. There's different reasons that it has to be that way. I'll be able to release some parts of these to the public, but I can't release them all to the public. So please respect that and keep it within the members. If, if not, we will not be able to release the rest of them. Okay, so here they are. Hello, this is a collect call Hello. from... This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. If you believe this should be a private call, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. To consent to this recorded call, press 1. To disconnect, press 2. Hi. Hello? Hi. Hello. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Uh, I'm doing, I guess. I've talked to some oh. other friends, so. Oh, my goodness. I, you know, I have seen it and it's, you know, I've been following the whole thing and I don't want to have to put you through any of the stuff that you've been talking about for so long, but, you know, I was able to relate to a lot of your situations and stuff like that and, and I don't agree with anything. I can't even tell you how many people were against me and my feelings on the whole situation. Um, and I just felt gravitated toward you towards you because I felt like, I don't know, like, I guess like maybe just that you didn't have the proper support. And I don't know. I just, I just tried reaching out and I figured, I figured out how to do it. It was wild. But like I said, um, it's really, really strange. Like pretty much like most of your phone calls are being released, you know, on the media. Um, yeah. YouTube. But, Zab girl, as I've heard. Yes, yes. I can't even believe that we're talking. I'm, I'm excited that you called me. I don't even know if you were able to get my pictures because when I sent things through, they like I got a notification that some stuff wasn't accepted, and I was just like, I don't even know what he's getting. <laughs> so uh, uh, I got one on the 23rd that was removed for some reason. I don't know if that was from you or what, but 
Yeah, they removed that, and then I sent you, I basically resent the same message with another picture that they didn't delete. So, <clears throat> I don't know how you get these messages, but there is, you know, another picture in there. But of yep, course, I didn't give my stamp back. <laughs> they didn't give me my stamp back. You know, like, you have to basically get these stamps. And that's how you, uh, you know, yeah, stamp, stamps are non refundable. It says that the moment I tap into the uh, e messages app. So, so where are you now? When are you getting transferred? Like, what's going on? Uh, I'm currently still in Muskegon County Jail. Um, okay. I don't know long? when I'm. Uh, I could be gone by Friday. I could be gone by next Friday. All I know is that Friday is when the. As some people call it, the meat wagon rides out. Oh, oh my goodness. And you sound like you're okay, though. That makes me feel so much better. I mean, I know that you're probably not, but the fact that you're composed and, you know, that's that's super important. And I'm so happy to know you're not letting yourself fall apart right now. You know, maybe inside you are. But... I let myself fall apart earlier. I don't want to do it again. I know, and that's good. That's good. That means you're strong. That means you're strong. It's like, I don't know, I'm I'm, I'm what you call, like, and I'm sure you've seen this, like, an empath and all these different things. And I just felt this connection to you, and I was like, I'm going to try to reach out to him, and if it's meant to happen, it will. And at first, I was like, I'm going to have to travel to Michigan <laughs> to see if I can actually go and see him in jail or not. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm just really upset with how this all went down, and I can't even fathom how you must feel um and i don't agree with what the media says i don't really listen to the media anyway with anything um but you know i was like i know if i hear his voice i'm gonna know if he's what i think he is and you are um you don't sound like some crazy person <laughs> so Thank you know you i think much. you were, I, seriously i think you were put into a situation and honestly the way that i have like assessed this whole thing is I thought to myself, because I didn't have a good upbringing, and I thought to myself, well, what if I was in a situation like that? Like, you know, there would be a million things going through my mind, you know, even though the media put out, you know, that you and your mom were so close. You know, there's so much that I felt was just not known because it's impossible for everything to be known. Yeah. And, you know, and especially because you were so young, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, people say, oh, well, if you're 19, you're an adult. If you're 18, you're an adult. But you know what? You know, having, like I said, I had dysfunction in my family growing up. Um, you know, sometimes, like, if, if that doesn't, I don't know, I don't I don't feel like the law just because they say you're a certain age. Because you know what? No matter what, even when you're older, because I'm a little bit older than you, you know, your family and your parents, especially the people you're supposed to be able to depend on and look up to, you know, whether we like it or not, sometimes we, you know, we, we just think that they're right because they're our parents, but they're not. And as you get older, you'll start, and I'm sure you're probably at this point already, but you yeah. start to realize, like, no, they're just people, too. And, you know, yeah. like, whether we like it or not, it I'd is I'd say it physically, is. I may be 21, but mentally, I'm far younger. Well, I want you to know that you're going to have a friend in me forever, and I'm so disappointed with this whole thing. Um, but the fact that you replied to me, I was like, he's going to think I'm just some crazy girl that's just, like, rating him. Or, and I figured you probably got, like, 50 other people messaging you. But, um, I mean, have you had crazy? I was going to say, did you get, like, any crazy people reaching out to you or uh, anything like that? Maybe not crazy, <laughs> but I had a dude who wanted to their... HBO is doing a documentary on this whole thing. And okay. If you wanted my part of the story at the moment, I just don't know. It's you know what? Stressful. Be careful. You know, I'm just trying to be. I'm trying to be careful. Even with sentencing over, I'm definitely going for an appeal and anything. So are you going to be able to, to do uh, that? I'm definitely going to try. One of my other con, several of my other contacts, anyway, are helping me out. You know, okay, good, good. I'm glad. They, and, they both, um, two, the two of them who were like the first ones to contact me, both have um, children with, with uh, Asperger's syndrome. It's mm -hmm. a, a part of the autism spectrum, and it's the thing is, so, um, one of one of them actually uh, wrote, wrote to the judge and and explained five key. Uh, 
I guess, characteristics of Asperger's Syndrome. I, mm -hmm. I guess some people might check one or two boxes, but I checked all five. And you want to know something? When you go through something as traumatic as you did, whether a doctor wants to say you have it or not, whether you have it or not, you know what? You have to kind of, I would imagine, in, in my own experience, the things I've been through, where it's almost kind of like you have to mentally check out because that's how you mentally survive and get through situations. And these are all the things that I thought about as this whole thing was playing out, you know, because even with myself, I've been in such horrific situations in my past that, like, I almost had to, like, shut myself off. And I call it, you're going to laugh, but I call it going into robotic mode where it's kind of like, it's, it's a really weird mind control type of thing, but when you go through trauma, it's something yeah. that you just automatically you try to find to some way to escape. I get that yeah. much. Absolutely. I've done that for a lot of things my entire life. One of my me reasons too. for preferring... You probably heard me say this at some point, but it's one of my reasons for, for, for preferring science fiction and fantasy over mm -hmm. any other genre because... I mean, science fiction and fantasy is far more crazy than the world we live in. And I already Absolutely. feel at times that, you know, my life's crazy enough. I just need to get away from it into something more wacko. It's an escape. And, and you know what? In any escape, you know, whether it be, like you said, well, I've heard, you know, about you being into your electronics and all that kind of stuff. Any uh, kind of escape, you know, is a good escape. I mean... You know, the longer and the more that we get to talk, I hope that you can talk when you're in prison. Um, you know, yeah. when I tell you my stories, you're going to be like, oh, my God. Like, and but I, I just this whole time, you know, I have something like an intuition type thing that it's genetic. And you might think I'm crazy, but being that you're into sci-fi and all that kind of stuff, maybe you don't think it's weird. Um, but like. It's almost kind of like I said, people overuse the empath term and things like that and yeah. narcissism and all this kind of stuff. And, but like, I don't know, like, I, like, you probably heard you weren't born yet, but do you remember the O.J. Simpson trial? The I'm what? sure you've heard of it. You know who O.J. Simpson is and he had a trial back in the 90s before you were born? No, and, unfortunately. Well, he was a famous sports person and actor and he was convicted of killing his his, his ex-wife and some other guy that was there and from the moment that I heard about the case I was like this isn't this isn't how it played out like I knew it I just knew it in my gut and as I'm getting older it's like I have these like just these feelings and I was like this this isn't right and I was praying for you and I'm like why am I praying for this person I don't know and I'm like maybe he's just like my kindred soul or something you know <laughs> so you know because they say that everybody has a twin flame and and the things that I think people didn't understand as far as the courts and stuff like that, I think are things that I don't care how educated somebody is, unless you've been through certain things and certain types of trauma, people can't understand. They can read a book and say, okay, this is in this me mental health book, you know, that they always refer to. Yep. But that doesn't mean, you know, that they're going to understand it. Like, you can have a psychologist yeah. that has no empathy at all. Yeah. So... You know what I mean? So no one's ever, and, I don't know, really understood anything about me in my entire life. Never appreciated my the skills that I have. Um, but, but yeah. So you know, I wanted to be able to reach out to you and find out like what's going to happen. Like for example, like I was going to put money on that phone thing so that there's you know money on there. So, like, if I were to do that, if they send you to prison, well, we know they're going to, how how does that work? Will it transfer over, or will I lose I, that money? Um, I honestly don't know. Yeah, we got to find that out somehow and, and see yeah. how that works. I know that the stamps don't transfer. That I know. But yeah. I think the money thing would, because I was like, how does that work? And then it was saying something about a video thing, so I clicked on it. But when I clicked on video it, you're joking on yeah, it was like a video call thing, and it said to put the jail in. So I, you know, I typed in your name, and then I put in the, I like searched the jails, but it didn't have your jail on it. Yeah. So I don't know if you're allowed video calls or not. Yeah, uh, my I one of my Pat, friends, Randy, uh, does so. Mm -hmm. So I wonder how he does it. Does he do it through that app? 
Um, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> well, when you talk to him again, find out because I was like, if, he, if there's a way to do that, that would be so cool. Because, and the reason that I thought about it too is because those calls that were released, this call may this this call may be released. Um, <laughs> yeah. But you know, I know that you know it was a mention of the video call, and um, and just for the record, I know you can't really look at probably what's on the internet. Um, but after everything was said and done and people were putting their opinions out there, I totally, like, I have the personality that I don't care what anybody thinks about what I believe in. What I believe in is what I believe in. And, yeah. and I stood up for that. And I stood up for you. And I, you know, said, people, you know, they have their own assumptions and then people brainwash each other. It's so stupid. And, um, but I did. I, I stuck up for you and had probably, like, I don't even know how many people like coming at me, but I was just like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that this is what they're saying that this is. And I'm going to, you know, be friends with him and find just, you know, help him find peace. And I, because I know that you're probably freaking out right now. So now what are the rules with your phone calls? Like you have a certain amount of time you're allowed to talk and 15 minutes. You have one minute Uh, left. There it is. Oh, yeah. oh, we have our one minute left. Okay, so we have one minute to finish this conversation. But let me just tell you this really quick. I'm not crazy. I'm not any of that. I just. I don't believe you I, are. I just, I just felt this connection instantly, and I just had to reach out. And I was like, if he thinks I'm nuts, like I said, he just won't respond. But um, can, so now you have my phone number, so I'm gonna put that money thing on. So then you'll be able right. to call. And do yep. you have money for food? Uh, not right now. No, my commissary is empty. All right. Well, I'm going to try to help you out, and you have a forever friend, I promise. And stay in touch with me, okay? And keep me posted. I will. All right, Paul. I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. The call. Hello. This is a collect call from Paul Ferguson. An incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. Thank you. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, how are you? I'm doing. You're doing? Are you okay? Yep. Sleep all right, beautiful. <laughs> You're so strong. You know that? You I are. Know. You're super strong, and it, it's a beautiful thing. Um, and then I woke up this morning, like I said in the message, and I'm like, was that just a dream? Because, like, you know, I've been following things for, you know, so long, and... I'm like, there's no way that could have, you know, that I could have actually spoken to him because, like I said, there were always so many things that I was like, oh, I wonder if I could just tell him like how I feel about this and that, and and then I looked at my phone and I'm like, holy shit, (laughs) I'm like, it's all real, like it's really real. So you know, so I hope that I bring a little bit of sunshine into your world, you know. I'd say you've already been doing so. Aww, and you're so sweet. I loved my message this morning, by the way. (laughs) <laughs> that was so sweet. Um, I just wish you weren't there, man. I wish you. I, I'm. I'm so upset because you know it's like now that I've spoken with you and it's like it was like this instant like connection. It's like oh my God. Now it's like I hope that I hope that you can do this appeal thing and get this changed. I really do. Me too. I do. And I'm gonna pray for that and hope for that. But you know, just for the record. Um, you know, I, I haven't really, it sucks because we have this stupid 15 minute thing that we got to do, but like, like my, my world is like really messed up. I've had a very hard life and like all this crazy stuff, like really bad. I'm sorry, baby. I have no friends. I have nothing. So I feel you like have I'm me like, now. But now I have you, you know, and, um, and just know that like, you know, as great as it is to be able to like, hold somebody every night and all those kinds of things, you know, that come along with the relationship and stuff. If things progress with us as they have very quickly, um, I'm not going to let that come in between anything because you want to know something. Every person that's been in my life has hurt me. And you know what? It's not just about physicality, you know? Yeah. It's it's about somebody understanding my brain and me understanding theirs. (laughs) Yeah. Like I said, you understood things about me that no one else has so far. You noticed things about me that no one else did. It's expressions, everything. Like, you know, like, I mean, I, I I saw everything. And it wasn't out of some freakish, sick, like, twisted, 
thing that I watched the case. It just happened. It was really kind of weird, actually, because um, I I was I'm like always into crime TV. I always have been, and um, you know, like you, I'm a really big sci-fi person too. Um, yeah. But but anyway, no, I was just watching TV one day, and I I don't know why I missed like some of the you know when it all happened initially, but um, it was just so weird. Like I I turned on the thing, and it was you. It was like you testifying. And I'm yeah. watching this, hearing the story, and I'm like, I don't, I don't think that these people got it right. They don't got it right, and I know they don't in my gut, which I always ignored my whole life, um, which is bad mm-hmm. because I had bad like repercussions because of it. But my gut with you is that these people have it wrong, and I, I was like, I wish there was a way I could talk to him, and I figured it out. I'm so excited. I figured it out, and yeah. you know, I want to tell you one thing too that. Maybe we'll give you a little bit of hope, okay? okay. Um, I had a friend, and his name, you could, well, I don't know how much of the internet that you have there, but his name is some weird law changed, and we're in the state that he's from, Massachusetts, like where it went up to like where you have to be 21 to be convicted, you know, or have the option of being put in jail for life, and they changed the laws, and because of that, he said literally they went to his jail cell one day and told him you're free to go, and he thought it was a joke, and he was supposed to <laughs> for the rest of his life um right got out so now you have me in your corner you don't think i'm not gonna be there for you shit we just started wait until like this progresses even more so you know so Uh you have someone with a strong personality on your side and i will defend you till the end and people like i said have gone up against me since before i even spoke to you so you know it's I don't know. I feel like it's really cool. And I'm very, like, I'm, like, kind of like a hippie. So, like, I always feel like everything's written in the stars. You meet people because you're supposed to meet them for whatever reason. And yeah. so, so you know, I don't care what anybody thinks. But tell me about your morning. What have you done so far? Uh, my morning? Yeah, well, like, what do you, do you get up at 4? Uh, normally, I don't, I don't wake up until 11 or so when they're bringing around trays. But... I woke up okay. a bit early and you know, felt like you know, maybe I should give you what maybe you a think? little. Maybe I should. I thought maybe I should text her, give her a little happiness to wake up to in the morning. Yes, you did. You did. I'm, and I just thought, you know what I thought of is, do you have a root? Like you have a cell buddy, right? Yes, I do. So did so? Does he hear our conversations? <laughs> uh, not, not exactly. Uh, the phones well, one, are out in the day room. Okay, so what does so, that mean? Like the room? Right uh, now? the common area of a sort. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, How far? Did anyone could uh, hear us, but it doesn't look like anyone's listening. <laughs> well, that's we're not saying anything bad. Yes, yeah, exactly. Bad. I just, I just want to, I want to keep you happy and have happy conversations, you know. And and like I said, I know Nolan's on Facebook, um, but it would be very weird if I ever wrote to him. So, so you could find out like I'm a real person. Just tell him to look me up. Men, and that's what makes you different. Like you actually talk to me. I know you don't have a choice because you're there, but like I've had a really anyone. Good as I said in text yesterday, all women are queens. Yes. Well, if I become your queen for real, then you can't have other queens. <laughs> I don't think I'd have a problem with that. Yeah, that would be weird. Like, if I knew you were talking to, like, all these girls, and, yeah, that wouldn't make me happy. That would make me As really I happy. said, the only other two people that I talk to, women-wise, are my honorary grandmother and honorary mother. Okay. Okay. So good. So I'm the only one that, like, you think is, like, pretty and stuff. <laughs> In I mean, that way, I've given yeah. the honorary mother compliment, but, you know, well, that's that's, different. it's completely different from you. <laughs> I would hope so. I wish I could send you, like, more pictures and stuff, like, to show you my life and everything. I don't know how to do that, though. Uh, um, I think you can actually send them, basically, it's called a snap and send on e-messaging. Okay. So. Because I really want you to, like, know who you're talking to. I know you have one picture, but, like, that's yeah. just one picture. Yeah. And then they took... 
her off because I don't know why they took it off. Maybe it looked too sexy or something. I don't know. <laughs> but they oh, wouldn't gosh. let one of my go through. Yeah. So that sucks. Maybe you could send me like a little video of you blowing me kisses. Oh, I would totally, totally do that. So it's on Snap and Send? Is that what you said? Yes, that's what it's called. And I can't figure out the commentary thing. I tried going on to something called JPEG it brought me to. And then when I hit send money, it says that there are no fees listed. You cannot blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, there's got to be a way to do it. We're going to get you uh, see the, um, the website that I've given. Yeah, I went on. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure I saw that. Hold on. Um, let me just, it's in the text thing, right? Yep, securusabovs.com. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's what I have. I have that app on my phone. I actually have the app on my phone. So if I go on uh, the app, you know, I see Video Connect. I tried to do that. I was going to try to do a video with you, but it says your facility doesn't allow it. That's weird. So I tried to do that. I tried to do Advanced Connect. Um which, for whatever reason, wasn't working. And then I figured if I did Securus Debit, because it says fund an individual Securus account, if I click Fund Now, and it's not letting me. It's saying that your facility doesn't allow it. So I'm like, what um, the hell? Like, okay. Maybe look for the Muskegon County Jail site and figure it out. That's about the only other thing I can currently think of. I can call them, maybe. Are they going to yeah. ask what you think? Ask what? Do you think they're going to ask me a ton of questions or no? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Okay. All right. Well, it's okay. It's worth it. I just want to make sure you're okay. Yep. You know? And yep. um, all that. If is our thing going to get cut off? Like, I wish we can just hit continue when the 15 minutes. Yeah, I know. Baby. You know? And um, do you regret talking to me yesterday and everything that was said? Not at all. No. I don't. Okay. Cool. Cool. And, and, and it's funny because I'm sure we're going to be on YouTube. You know that, right? Very much so. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so weird. Oh, my God. If, if, if I hear my voice on there, it's going to be so strange. But I don't care. I don't Me care. If you hear that, I don't care. So when you're playing my message on YouTube, I don't care. Sad girl, you suck. <laughs> Very much. Deep, deep you know. Life. They can be. They can get jealous because you know what? What we're building is going to be more beautiful than anything that they're ever going to experience in life because it's completely soul connect. Because I can't be with you, so you know, there's nothing more beautiful than that. So exactly. they can kiss butt. They can kiss my butt. <laughs> so yeah, try to find out. Like, well, no, I'm going to do the phone call today. I'm going to call. Because there is a phone number, and I'm going to see how I can do that. And the only other reason I was thinking maybe it's not letting me is because you're getting transferred. I mean, one of my other um, contacts just dropped money yesterday or so. Like, I got oh. it this morning, but it's... Yeah, I got... You will find out You have exactly. one minute left. No, I don't want a minute. I want an hour. <laughs> what the hell? Did you hear that? Yes, yes. It, I don't it, want to do it's that. on both ends. Okay, so you can hear when we just have a minute. I don't want to let you go. <laughs> it sucks. Um, okay. So you got my work schedule, right? Yes, I did. Awesome. So you'll know when I'm at work and I work. I don't know how late you're allowed to. Well, no, you said 11.30 you can make phone calls till. Uh, so, well, that's texting. I can make calls till 12. Oh, really? So if I'm at work and it's slow, you can call me. But anyway, before this hang this up I love you I love you Paul I do I love you and this is like a dream come true you don't even know um but I know we're gonna get disconnected so yeah um I'll I'll send you a a text thing when I can talk at work so then you know when to call me thank you for using Securus goodbye hello this is a collect call from Paul Ferguson this call is not private it will be recorded and may be monitored hello Oh, that was so weird. Yeah, it does that sometimes. Annoying glitch. Dude, it took me seven minutes, like, to go through the process, and I don't know why they said, like, one of my zip codes didn't match my card. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So, but finally it went through. It finally went through. 
So, um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, so what are you doing? Like, what is, like, what's your schedule about? Like, like, do they tell you what to do at certain times or do you just kind of get to do what you want to do? Um, let's see. 4 a.m. is breakfast. 11 a.m. is lunch. And 4 p.m. is dinner. The in between, we're, you know, do whatever we want. Between, um, let's see, a little time while after breakfast, and I'd say, Eight or so, we're mm-hmm. all locked down. And then, if it's an odd day to day, the top tier, which is my tier, gets the morning out. Though okay. most of us just sleep right through it. <laughs> and then it comes that lunch. Surprise, right? Yeah, and then comes lunch. And then between lunch and dinner, we'll lock down <laughs> all of us. Tablets okay. come on at. 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. Sorry. Um, but that is so cool. I can't believe that you actually have that. Yeah. Like I didn't. I didn't think. Like honestly, like when you went to jail or anything. Like I didn't think that they would give you any access to anything like that. Yeah. The times have changed. <laughs> well, but, the tablets in this in this particular pod, you can't call out on the tablet. We've tried addressing okay. the issue, and they say that they're going to fix it, but they never do. So how are the text, other people there? You said what? How are the other people there? I mean, is are people assholes, or like, what is it like interacting with um, other people? Most of the people are all right. You just got to be careful not to get on their wrong, on the bad side. Yeah. Well, you don't come off as like a prick, so, <clears throat> you know... To be, you know, I might have problems once in a while with snapping at somebody. But, yeah. You know, well, you know what? I think no everybody reason has for that. it. I usually go back and apologize. Well, see, that's what matters right there. That's what matters right there. If you can own up to what you did, that's the important thing. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> Not sure. And so, like, so, like, for fun, like, have you, like, learned, like, any new hobbies? Like, because you have to have shit to do, obviously, like, in between. Uh, I mostly play on my tablet, actually. <laughs> well, that's right. Because <laughs> they give you games? Uh, you can purchase them, but I'm pretty sure on the outs, the games on the tablets are completely free. Oh, okay. Yeah. Heck, one of the ones that was that I saw on the tablet was mm-hmm. free on the outs. I know, because I had it. <laughs> yeah, you know. At but, the moment, but, I've been on a bit of a vintage rampage. Okay, like you know. how vintage? Um, the let's see, the old older Pokemon Silver, uh, Pokemon Leaf Green, Pokemon Emerald and Ruby, um, <laughs> the Fire Emblem games, the first and second Final Fantasy from like the DS. Or the right. Nintendo, the Game Boy. Yeah, um, yeah. The Sonic Advanced. I used to play the first one back when I was a kid on Shonda's Game Boy. Okay. Before they had the, you know, DS and whatnot. Um, uh, various others. Oh, that's so cool. I used Legends to have, of like... Zelda, uh, yep, A Link to the Past, cool. and um, the Minish Cap. Tell me that you went as far back as to Atari. Um, <laughs> there are some Atari games on there, you know, Pac-Man and... Uh, Hell yeah, Missile Command. And then, let's see, what else is there? Asteroids? I don't think they have that one on there. I think they have a few, but not many in that department. Most of it's like Game Boy stuff from way back when. Yeah, yeah. But that's cool, though, you know, it, it occupies your time and... Yeah, the only thing that sucks is you have to pay seven ninety five every month for a subscription. Otherwise, you can't even buy the games. And you also can't download pictures that people send you without a subscription. Yeah, all of it's kind of weird. Like, even, like, on this, I noticed on this text thing, I can't send you pictures. I can only send it through those e-messages. So. Yeah. And I don't know why they took the the first picture off. Basically, the first picture... <clears throat> because 
my hair is really long, but like I always like will get bored and change the color. So like the first picture, it my hair was dark, and it actually the picture actually looks kind of people. It's kind of funny. People say it looks like it's like a shampoo commercial. Um, <laughs> so that's the one they took off, and then when my hair was just blonde with the pigtails, I think you said that's the one they left, right? Oh, uh, you're with the blonde hair? Yeah. Blonde Yeah, what color hair did I have? <laughs> yeah. That'll tell me which picture you got. Seriously, yeah. they both had different color, you know? And the, and the age thing, like, did that freak you out? I mean when I said you are very beautiful, you do not look your age. Well, you look way you. younger. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, you want to know what, um, when I came to, to be honest with you, um, when I came to, I don't know anyone in it. It's so crazy. Um, it's uh, insane. Oh, and to answer your question, to answer, well, I don't know if it was a question so much, but when we were talking about, like, people's opinions and stuff like that, mm-hmm. um, yes, you you nailed it. I am so the kind of person that would not give a shit, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Seriously. So that once I'm out of prison, which hopefully we can at least reduce the sentence, yeah. uh, I'll likely transfer any parole or probation down there. Well, that would be awesome. Yeah, no one, uh, <laughs> no one offered, um, you know, a place to live while I do my parole mm-hmm. and I don't know how much you're able to tell me, but do they? Yeah. Do you have any idea of what they could possibly get it down to? No, not right now. And how are you holding up? Like, are you really holding up okay? Yeah, I mostly use my tablet to distract myself, so... Okay, well, good. Now I'll bug you, and you'll have another distraction. <laughs> That's why I said to you, I was like, I want to see you smile, or, or at least sense that you're smiling, you know? And, um, <clears throat> yeah, and and as far as, yeah, I, I, I definitely wanted to address that. It's funny, because I'm, like, super short. I'm, like, this, like, little girl. Um, like I said, oh. <laughs> I think you're, you're on your profile, like, where your mugshot is. I think it said you were 6'1". 6'1", 6'2", maybe. Uh, <laughs> Next my you. older brother is, I think he's, like... Either five eleven or six foot even. Okay. So I've got him by at least an inch. <laughs> That's so funny. So like, yeah, like if I actually stood next to you, I would probably be like mid chest. Probably at five at five foot. Would, would you say? I'd that? have to yeah. say so. Maybe most of my <laughs> length is most of my height is in my legs. And so, since last so, I measured, I have a six foot arm span from tip to tip, tip of fingers to the other hip. Dude, you gotta tell me what is up with that like double jointed thing. Tell me about it. Uh, what did you hear <laughs> <I> thought... about? <laughs> I found. No, I'm gonna tell you how, because it was on a TikTok video you you put out, and it it was oh. viral. <laughs> it went viral. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you, what double jointed are you talking about? Like the putting my leg behind my head or the double jointed shoulder? Your shoulder. <laughs> oh, that, I don't really know how to explain it. I just found yeah, out, that? hey, I can do this one day. You actually, like, took your arm and, like, wrapped it. Like, I was trying to figure out, and, like, how the fuck did you do that? And then I'm like, well, is it that? Maybe his arms are just really long. Or no, like I have really a, uh, I have a double joint in my right elbow. That is so wild. So is it only that one side? Yeah, just in one elbow. Oh, or wow. el- not elbow, shoulder. Jesus Christ! Well, I know what you meant. <laughs> yeah. But I know what you it's meant. actually a double joint that only twenty percent of the world has. Believe it or not. Really? Well, it's kind of like my green eyes. They say only 4% of the world has green eyes. So. <laughs> As for the putting my leg behind my head, I just mm-hmm. saw it on TV one day when I was a kid and just said, oh, I wonder if, oh, hey, I can do that. I can do that, too. Yeah. I can still do it today. <laughs> yeah. Mainly so it's because cool. I don't have a lot of meat on my bones. Let me ask you this. If 
like when you go to prison, are they going to keep you separate from people? Um, I'm likely going to ask for protective custody just in case. I'm worried. I'm really, yeah. really worried. Yeah. That's why I request it protective custody because I, I don't like, want somebody to It doesn't to matter what back. I think. It doesn't matter what I think or what you think or what you know. Um, I'm really worried about that. And I've been like so sick over that. Not even yep. knowing it's, it's the weirdest fucking thing. It's like, like we're talking right now and I feel like you're like someone I've been talking to for like years. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. But, um, no, I was thinking about that. I was like, I've also been told not to drop the soap. Oh yeah, absolutely not. Oh hell you never no. Know. You never know what kind of jerk was um, could come up behind you. You know, take what he wants. I I give you credit though because you're not like freaking out. Like like if it were me, I'm gonna be honest. I'd be freaking out. Like I, I like, had my little you know breakdown earlier. I've managed to compose by now. And has your mother and you spoken at all or no? Shonda? Mm, yeah. Nah. She's already in prison. Rotten away yeah. for the rest of her life. I know. I know. And um, it sucks because I know we're being recorded. There's so much that I would love to say, but I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> Trust me, I would too. I have a lot to say about her. Oh, there's so much I want to say. Well, maybe like if this continues onward, um, uh, if you're allowed, I'll come visit you. And uh, yeah. see what it's like, and I'll see how tall I really am. I probably wouldn't even be able to hug you or anything, but you know, I could still tell by standing next to you. Um, yeah, I don't know how that stuff works. Um, and you don't even know where you, you don't know where you're really going to go yet, right? No, I know that from some of the guys in here. They told me that quarantine is in Jackson. I'm going to end up losing touch with you, aren't I? You, you're going to have to be the one to get in touch with me. Yeah, I, I I can write down your phone number. While I can't bring too much, I can bring my legal work. So okay. I don't know if I write phone numbers and whatnot on the back of that, or slip a postcard <laughs> with written stuff with stuff written down on it in there. Okay, we'll see, <laughs> yep. we'll see if you remember. We'll see if you remember. No, um, no, totally though. Like I don't even know where like where you are to be honest. Like where is Michigan? I don't even know. Uh, you have one minute Michigan, left. It's, uh, oh, we only got one minute. We'll yeah. go over geography another day. Um, uh, we uh, could always call again. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. Um, how does that work? I don't know how to do it. You have uh, to I just, Yeah, I just, I'll call again, and it'll, it'll probably have to, it probably won't be as long this time, but you, you'll have to enter your stuff in again. <laughs> Is it going to make me do it all over again? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle this time around. Okay. But... Oh. <laughs> we'll let this minute run out, and then we'll try that, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have to find the card I used for that one. That one was that one. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I'm like, which one did I use? Um. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get disconnected. So, yeah, call me back. I will. Okay, bye. Bye. The caller has hung low. This is a collect call from Paul Ferguson. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. Hi. Hi. So you know what I was thinking? What? We're probably going to make our debut tomorrow on on that Zab Girl. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, how did how did you find out about her? Um, one of my contacts. Yeah. And and you know that this is going to be on there. This is going to be like this big explosive thing that everybody's going to be like, who's this girl? Um, <laughs> and honestly, the funny thing is, is like, because I've always been on, you know, what I call, you know, your team um, and gotten a lot of flack for it. So, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyhow, yeah. Um, no, but I got your back on that front, too, even without, even before I ever spoke to you. Like, I had yep. your back. So, that's Thank you cool. very much for that. Oh, no, you're welcome. No, but back to what we were saying before. Um, so, you said that your brother, he's he's close to me, Nolan. Mm-hmm. That's wild. 
and that was your intention, I heard, that that's what your plan was, you know. To move to once everything was over? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, you know what, I'm glad that you two are, that you two are doing good. You know, because it didn't, you know, have to be that way, and I'm really, really grateful that you have that. And, Me too. Um, and, you know, the, throughout this whole thing, um, you know what? I'm just going to say this one last thing, and then we don't even have to talk about it unless you ever want to. But, you know, just always remember for any guilt or anything that you feel um, that, you know what, you weren't the parent. And yep. and I know you've heard that a hundred times, if not more. But it's super, super important, not just from some legal person to understand that, you know what, what you see and what you learn is what you become in a sense. And mm-hmm. sometimes you don't even realize that it's, that it's wrong. And uh, that's the thing. I didn't even, there were, maybe there were small times when I second guessed, but yeah, Shonda knew about my, I wouldn't say psychological. I had more of emotional problems. Okay. I tend to judge with my emotions. So if, you know, after work, I was exhausted. I was a lot more susceptible to be easily agitated. Which isn't abnormal, really. That's kind of a normal thing. Yeah, but she used that against me, and I have a sensory processing disorder. I guess may as well be a processing disorder at this point. I just I never fully comprehended the weight of everything until well, until it was too late. Too late. And it sucks. Yes. Yeah. No, I I totally understand that. I do. Um, And I'm glad that you're opening up to me and telling me these things because these are all things that, like, I I always, like, was wishing I could ask you, you know? And it's good to hear your perspective on things when you're comfortable talking about it. Um, Yep. You know, like, like, can I ask you, like, a straight-up question? Like, do you hate your mom? Or do you, I call her Shonda. Do you, are you, like... She's not Even if some of Shonda. I only okay. have one mom, and she's not in Michigan. Okay, okay. And 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 the only other question too is how come how did or how is this even possible that your father didn't get involved in this whole legal mess? Uh, That's been the biggest question I think on everybody's mind. Is like why isn't the father involved? How did he not get any sort of charges or anything? Yeah. I'm still wondering that myself. I don't know if they're going to. They probably, if they haven't by this point, they're probably not going to. So you're even wondering why? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure he knew her rights were terminated. Whereas yes. I had no he idea. Definitely did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, given my grandfather claims that he knew so. His mm-hmm. father. But you didn't know. No, of course not. See, and these are all the things. That's what I'm saying. Like, these are all the things. Like, they don't seem like things, but... Like, things like this that might not seem like big deals, they are big deals. You know what I mean? Because things... Yeah, things got totally out of control, obviously. Okay? Obviously. Very much so. Um, But there were things that also led up to it. And, you know... and, And the thing that pissed me off the most, I have to tell you this, the thing that pissed me off the most on the media was that they said, and even in court, when they said that you had no empathy, because I didn't see that. I didn't feel that. I didn't feel that you lack empathy. Like, I I think you were honest when they first asked you, you know, one of the first times you had to testify and they asked you, did you feel bad or whatever at the time? And you said no. And I was like, wow, that's like a totally honest answer. But to me, that also meant that you knew the difference between caring and not caring, and that you knew that by what you did, it makes it look as though you didn't, so that must be the case. Um, but see, I, I read, like, your things, like, so differently than everybody else. Yeah. Like, I wish that a lot more people did, but... And I could be wrong for the way that I'm thinking, but that's how I thought throughout the whole thing, like, the things that I'm telling you, like, when things would come up... And those are the things that I would think. And I'm like, yeah, they kept talking about you executing things, but you 
And do you can do you know this answer? When you get transferred, can you still get visitors or no? Um, I think I should be able to physically get visitors once I get into prison. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but I know here in okay. Mesquite County they're still dragging out the COVID crap. And that sucks, man, because you don't even know when you're leaving. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> that like sucks. I said, it's, so you... it could be this Friday. It could be the Friday after. It could be the Friday a month from now. That's so weird. And so yeah. I hope that I promise I'll be in touch with you like every day. And I hope that um, it at least makes it a little bit easier. You know, yeah. <laughs> even though I'm some stranger, you know, um, like there's so yeah, many it, things I want to ask. It's always like nice even to have like, encouragement during all these tough times. Yeah, but, you know, it's so much more than that. I'm just not trying to be like everybody else. You know, I, I yeah. am able to see what I think a lot of people can't see, and it just it frustrates the fuck out of me. Straight yeah. up, I'm sorry if I'm hearing, but that's just how I talk. Um, yeah, you're good. <laughs> you know, honest, and it's, I don't think most of my family knows that I swear a lot in here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I try to I try to refrain myself when I'm talking to them. Yeah, see, you're so good. You're so good. See, there is this other side to you, and then you have this other side, like I guess, like when you're mad, maybe or yeah. something, yeah. and it okay. and and you have these piercing eyes, you know. But, I've been but, told but, that I have a glare that's crippling. But it, but it's this is horrible to say. I'm something that say. Shonda actually. Had. She's claimed that even blind men could feel it. But no, it, but it's 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 a good thing. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> it, normally, it never comes out, but you know, a guy was talking like, shit like, about my family. You know when I saw it? You know when I saw it when you were in the courtroom and yeah, she was. You, I, no one else noticed. Oh my god! I did. I did. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We were meant to meet. Like, I noticed it, and I felt the energy that you were feeling. You're and like, whoa. Yes. And, but, like, at the same time, it was still sexy, too. <laughs> I was oh. like, I'm like, oh, my God, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing? <laughs> uh-huh. You know, but, um, but no, no, I didn't notice that. I mean, I noticed everything. And you know what I wanted to know, too? How come your mother wasn't shackled, but you were both times? Uh like, I, I, didn't understand that. I mean, she could have been shackled, and we just couldn't see them on the camera. I mean, physically, but she was even dressed in normal clothes. Yeah, she wasn't let out. They don't give bonds for that kind of charge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess you know she, they wanted her to look formal and everything. Probably would have done the same for me if I had taken this trial. But and I gotta say one thing that I don't want you to forget, okay? Because it really because I listened to that thing over and over again today. And there's something, you know, the judge, when it came to your mom, I thought he did a great job. But the one thing I hated that he said to you, and I said, I hope that Paul does not keep this in his brain. Because at that point, I didn't have any idea that I would even be talking to you. But when he said at the very end of saying that you were like your mother, and he said possibly worse, that made me sick. That made me so sick. And I thought that was completely wrong to say. And I'm so glad that I have the opportunity because you could just diss me and like never talk to me again. And if that happens, at least I have had the chance to tell you yeah. that that was wrong. How and many I, times have I heard that you don't, you're not sorry. You're sorry you got caught. I don't need, I don't need to hear it from somebody I don't even know, especially a judge. Exactly. Maybe there were times when I was a kid. Yeah, I wanted to get away with something, and I was sorry that because I got caught. But of course, we're talking of about course. someone dying here. Yes. And I can't even imagine, you know what, no matter what, no matter what anyone says, no matter what any therapist says, I can't believe that, you know, I obviously the public never saw any of the real pictures and stuff. But if it was as bad as they were saying, and you were concerned and sent your mom pictures and stuff like that, you know, that's her responsibility. She's the mother. Um, you know what? You're you are still a teenager. Let's be real, you know. But um, but do you promise me though that you're going to keep in touch? You know, when you leave, I will. I can't, I can't believe we've been talking this much, and it's only the first day. Can you imagine? Like after we've been talking for like a month, it's amazing. <laughs> mm, 
even though, like I said, I'm sure you've probably gotten a lot of these calls. I mean, you have to have groupies. I mean, Manson had groupies, but he was crazy. You're not crazy like that. Manson was crazy. I've got a couple of uh, friends now, I'd say. People who saw the case and saw it like you. They saw it a different way. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, are these, like, young girls, old women, or are they, like, you know? Um, I'm let's see. One's you have a, one minute left. Uh, one's a family. The main guy's um, the father. One of his children has Asperger's, and he recognized that in me. The second mm-hmm. one is a, uh, I think, a 64-year-old woman. She's She kind of... Uh, Took the role of honorary grandmother, I guess you could call it. Mm-hmm. And then um, I think I got two more people that I've been talking to, or no, just one other right now. I had mm-hmm. two, but one of them suddenly stopped contacting me. It's like, uh, okay. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, not much you can do. Exactly. So I have competition only with one person now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for using oh, Securus. Right. Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from an incarcerated individual at Muskegon County Jail. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. Hey, baby girl. Hey, I'm making myself a cup of coffee. I think I think it hit. I really think it hit. Um, I just got a notification from Zabro. And what it, I can see so far, I think it hit. I'm scared to look, but I'm gonna look when I go back outside. Look at some coffee. Um, because you want to know what I think it is. What? Because it says something like that she had to review it to see how indecent the conversation was before she aired it. And unless Wait. you're talking to someone else like me, then what else would it be? Right? They had a someone did a decent and an indecent review. You said. No, she said, it says something like, um, it said that she had to review it, and she wanted to review uh, it before putting it for the public, in case you Yeah, there's, uh, there ain't no one else that I'd be talking to like that, this girl. Is there you. anybody else? Tell me now. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to find out. Oh, my God. Can you hear my coffee being made? I wish I was making you a cup. Um, I'm scared to look, but I'm going to look at things I go outside in a second. I'm like... Oh my god. Oh, fuck it. Who cares, man? You know what? I'm not. Right. I'm so tired of living my life in fear. I've lived my whole life yep. in fucking weird fear and strangeness. Um, and I met my dream guy. So fuck, fuck what everybody wants. Dream, to baby. Yeah, you are. You're a nice, sexy, hot guy. Um, I'm just trying to finish this to see it taking forever. The cure exchange should take like a second. All right, cool. Yep, I know. <laughs> and I can take it. Oh my god, we're going to find out together. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Um, and it just posted like just now. Does it hit my thing? I'm scared. Oh my god. It'll be okay, baby. I'll always. Um, all right, let me put on speaker. Okay. Oh, I'm shaking. Um, hold on. Can you hear me, Ben? Yep, I can hear you. All right, here we go. I'm clicking on it. Let's see the notifications. Um, oh, here's one of. On to the first thing that pops up. Um, she's on her number fifth video for her jail calls. And each call, each video she has, like every like like amount has like three or four calls. So your mother's up to number number five. Um, uh, okay, so let's see where we're at. Um, wait, hold on. It's just something about. I have to do a deep dive. What does it say? It says, I have to do a deep dive into a video and recording I received. I have to check it out first because I plan on doing a deep dive into this couple when I get this one already. Doing live tomorrow on it. That's what it says. Oh my God. And then some other girl responded talking about me saying, come on. <laughs> um, what did she girl say? It says, it's the girl, she says, uh, my girl, she's so crazy, 
this case is getting more wild. This is going to be really good. This is insane. The case um, is practically over. I know. I don't know what the fuck people... I understand. Trust me, I understand. I am a mother, and like I told you, I am appalled at what happened. I am disgusted at what happened. But, That's fine. Like, but, but the thing is, is like... Everybody keeps saying that you don't give a shit. And that's the thing that's pissing me off the most. Are people saying that you don't care and that because you said on the stand that apparently you didn't love your brother enough or you didn't love him at that point or whatever, however you worded it, people are, keep saying that you did not love your brother and that you admitted that. That's what they keep saying to me. They're like, how can you love someone that can admit that they didn't love their sibling after what happened and all this stuff? And I'm like, it's not. Like they're taking the words and they're talking love them in there. Something that family love isn't something that can just go away. No matter how upset or angry you can be at a sibling, you can still love them. I know, I know. I mean, I don't know why it's still going so. It, it's the number one search thing right now. I mean, it's crazy. And yeah, but you got to know how much I love you because mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's. it's yeah, I mean, it already is getting out there. People know my my tag name on there, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, but careful. yeah, I don't put my real name um, on there. But I hope it doesn't say anything on Facebook. I'm not Facebook on the other thing, but I don't know. I I just um, I'm just really disgusted, and I try to like not to show that to you when I talk to them on the phone. And it's not about you; it's about the things that people say and insinuate and like I watched an, a body expert video last night on a guy another guy doing a body expert like thing like with just body language and stuff like that I wanted to hear what this idiot had to say and it was regarding it was regarding when you were in the court and got your final sentence right and yeah. you know what he said and I was trying to see it in the video and I was having a very difficult time seeing it but I was like if this happened then it obviously was something that he'll remember and he's talking about how when your head is down that you're smiling. And I'm like, I don't see him smiling. Like, for me, it doesn't look like he's fucking happy at all. It looked like you hadn't slept, like you were tired. And um, yeah. you were smiling. And then he said that that there must have been someone in the courtroom that you knew because you said that you turned around. And I saw that. You did turn around and smile at somebody. But he said, like, as the judge was talking, you had your head down and was smiling the whole time. Uh, I you don't know that. shit. That's the simplicity of it. You don't know shit. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, I saw the judge show you something. He pointed to something in your right in front of you. I watched that part. He pointed to something right. What, what did he show you there? Like when he pointed to it, what was that? Like um, right as soon as your sentence was read, because your head came up like holy shit, and then like he pulled it open like your papers and pointed to something. And I don't know if it was about. Uh, uh, being able to, what I was I talking what, to my lawyer. Oh, was that just the thing that you read? Was that what? Was that what he was Yeah, that to? might very well be what it was. I, I know, I know it was it, only a few days ago, but my memory has already gone spotty. Uh, my memory is just like yours. It's so weird. Like I can be in mid conversation and completely forget what I'm talking about when I'm talking. It's really, really weird. <laughs> but I think I my mind is um, shot. You know. So. Something about your pictures I wanted to let you know. Oh, yes. I like how pictures. you have the black and white and the color, but I must say your skin tone is way better with color. Which, which picture is that one? Oh, um, if I have color yeah, any on, of the, like, Yeah, the that. ones that are black and white can't bring out a beautiful contrast of your skin and your hair and your eyes. Oh, you're so sweet. One of them I'm in my pajamas. There's a picture I sent you. It has, like, a rainbow border on it. And, um, yes, yes, I got that one. They sent you that. I was like, they're not going to give this to him just because it's my, I'm wearing like shorts and a tank top or something. That's like a, it's like green shorts. <laughs> yeah. So it's that. And then, okay. So you, all right. So you got that one and then you got, okay. What was the other one with the color? I'm trying to remember. Um, uh, I got four, four out of the five are with color. The next one, okay. it looks like you're wearing, you're outside. You're wearing a white tank top, and there's a cross necklace dangling or Oh, yeah, I'm driving. It's in the car. <laughs> that's uh, in the car, that picture. Yes, that's in my old car. I don't have that car anymore. I had a um, Mazda CX-5 at the time because they were having a really yeah. good sale. <laughs> but now I have a different car. And the spooky part about it is I have um, 
I don't even want to tell you what kind of car I have, because I think it was the same kind of car your, my, your mom that Shonda had. Um, but now I'm driving. Uh, I got one where pictures. you're wearing something black that's got like this sort of lacy frame around the neck. Yep. Yep, that one, I'm standing in the sun, and the sun's hitting me. It was my old house, and yep. it's overexposed, but I thought it still looked really cool. Yep. You know. And then next uh, one, you've got this sort of, uh, it looks like there's some cheetah spots mixed in there. And you're sort of like laying down oh. cheetah spot fabric. Okay, fabric I'm laying down. There. Yeah, and you sort okay. of got your like hands brushing gently over your temple. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I know which one you're you talking got about. Your lips painted that sexy red. Yes, I sent you a bunch of pictures with me with red lipstick on. I sent you a picture of me laying down, and I know that the only reason why you're not getting most of these pictures, and it's not even my fault, it's because I have big boots. That's the only reason why you're not getting these pictures. And, and that's, that's so not fair. Mad. Because it's not my fault I have big boots. Like, yeah. But that's the truth. That's the only reason, and it's not like I'm showing them off to you. I'm not like being like sexual in them or anything. It's just that because I'm very short, number one, um, you know, even like when I get ready for work, I look in the mirror and I look ahead of me. But one of my guy friends taught me something, and they told me they said that you have to make sure that the material actually touches your skin because when you're tall, they're like you can see right down into your cleavage. And I'm like, oh my god, like I had no idea because I don't want yeah. to expose my body like that. You know, only you. Yeah. Oh, oh, my. So that means that that's why you're not getting them. It's That's the only thing, because so far, every picture you've gotten, they're just like, I know which ones they are as you're describing them, and that's that's the only thing I can think. Like, I sent you a beautiful picture of me wearing this dress. It's a blue um, satin dress, and it's like it has paisley on it. So I dress, I dress kind of like like from, I don't know, like I said, like Steve Nicks, I know you don't know her, but like, like it's more like I just what you would see like in the seventies, like I love wearing like bell bottoms and things like that. But I look like I'm like from like the hippie area in a sense. <laughs> but um but yeah, the dress that I the one that I sent you with the dress, there was nothing bad about it at all. The only thing with it was that it was probably my one of my best pictures. It was that like I was like basically sitting and I had my because I wanted you to see a full body shot, so I sent you like full body shots. And so you could see my full body and know that I'm not like five hundred pounds or anything. And um, and the only thing about it is, yeah, the front of it was a little low cut, so you could see, like, I guess, like, a little bit of cleavage. And because it was tight dress, you could see, actually, my curves, which is what I wanted you to see. Um, so they apparently didn't send you that because I sent that twice. And yeah. you didn't get that uh, one. So. But that sucks because the people that are reviewing these photos, they're getting to see them. So, like I said, if they're not sending them to you, and that means in their mind that they think that they're sexy or something because they're not sexual pictures. They're not. Like the, the tank top one. The only one who gets to think definitely. I'm sexy and has that right is me. Get, yes. Who thinks he gets to think you're sexy, not I'm sexy? Jesus Christ. Well, nobody. Nobody better I, I just, you to you. I woke up at like 9.30. I'm still kind of dazed. <laughs> me too. It's so cool because we both are. We both are. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy just to hear your voice, baby. You have no idea. Yeah. I'm so excited. Like, I'm always happy my, to hear your voice, sugar girl. <laughs> when I heard my phone go off, I was like, please have to see him before I looked at it. Because I was laying with my cat. I had one cat on top of me. Mm-hmm. And then my other cat was looking next to me. And that's why I had to move my cat. I, like, rolled him off of me. And I saw the number. I was like, yes, it's him. Yay. I was so excited. Oh. But I was like, I'm half asleep standing. So he's going to probably think I'm a weirdo. <laughs> you know. You're all right, but, girl. Uh, yeah. So if you've seen the videos and whatnot, you've probably at least got a glimpse of my um, two teeth problems. You have Your one minute left. My teeth problems. Some of the guys the in here problems? call me Shark. Why? That's because I have. I mean, it's not I know completely I know incorrect. What your looks like I've seen your teeth, but I don't. That's 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 stupid. Who cares? You know, my teeth aren't perfect. <laughs> not at all. I mean. So how did that start? Who started that? That's bullshit. I don't even remember. Anyway, so the uh, just jealous. What? Uh, what about the answer to that question from the text? Oh, that yes. Um, yeah, I have to um, scope things out in there. I'm in an apartment. It's not a house. It's like a little apartment. It sucks. Yeah. So it's like I have no fucking privacy. Um, I could go for a ride up high. I've got to wake up a little bit first. So we'll have like. Yeah. 
one or two more call sessions if we can, and then I'll yep. go in my car. Um, I'm good to go. Then I can talk freely. I'd Thank you for using Secure. Right Goodbye. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... There she is. Hi, sexy. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, you know what? It's well, my friends do say call. this, that they, my friends, you know, I feel weak a lot, but my friends tell me that I'm strong because they say for everything I've been through, like, just one of those things could have totally crushed somebody. But you I'm like this phoenix that's to keep trying and rising. all of that. Yes, a phoenix. Yes. Perfect for you. I'm the rising phoenix. <laughs> oh, and and you maybe, you shed maybe your light you, maybe on Maybe we could go something like that for the wedding if you did if the blue didn't work. A sort of phoenix red to match the autumn leaves. And with my blonde hair and yes. if I oh. wear like look out that's how it looks beautiful. And maybe yeah. I would put flowers in my hair. I put real flowers in my hair, like I make oh, my hair look I really love beautiful. That. Like, well, you saw in, like, a couple of pictures, like, I curl my hair sometimes and, yep. um, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I, I can't wait. Oh, my God. I love that idea, actually. And I, yeah. I Did already you prefer I that one over head. the blue dress? I think that one would. Uh, in what do you honest, prefer? And I think that the, the Phoenix red would look so much more beautiful, especially with the cutout colors around us. Yes. With the fall colors and... With my green eyes, I think it would look really cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah. no matter what you have on, I don't know what they're going to let you wear, but no matter what you have on, you're going to still be the most gorgeous man to me in the world. So just I, know that. Even no, if honestly, you have I don't hope that I'm still in the jumpsuit or whatever jail issue clothes they have. That would just suck. But you know what? I wouldn't even care. I wouldn't even care. It would be all about just seeing uh, you waiting for me. Yep. Yeah. And... Like I said, just the beautiful and, things that... And you wouldn't have to throw those say. flowers. You could keep them as a memorial, memorial, a memento of sorts. A memento. I'll keep those forever so that if I die, because I'll probably die before you because I'm older, then you can have let's, them. But, I was about to say, let's, let's not talk about death for right now. <laughs> no, let's we won't do that. Let's focus on living together. I'm getting... Yes, I'm getting together. I want, like, I don't know. Is there any way that you can find out? There has to be a way you can find out when you're going to be transferred. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, well, no, you, ask around. You I know some of the inmates in here have been to prison before. They might know something about it, but. But I can't go to that jail, though. You said right? No, because I'm not immediate uh, family. No, and not only that, but they don't allow in-person visits. The only reason that they allowed my stepmother, father, and brother were special circumstances. And, you know, I suppose yeah. they called in a minor sort of a favor of some sorts with the prosecutor and whatnot. Yeah. But. Yeah. No, I just, um, I just can't wait until you say, like I told you, all you have to do, like you sent me my text, let's see, what am I supposed to say? Um, and like I told you, let's do this. So when I hear those words from you, that means that you're ready <laughs> for me just to get on a second plane and be there. Yep. So, wait. So now, wait. Hold on, I have to open up my thing again because I forgot what the code word was. Hold on. i got to remember what it is. Um, don't uh, don't read it out loud. I don't want uh, peeping ears hearing it. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me get my glasses on. I don't have my glasses on. I'm like, why can't I see this? Hold on. I have to get my glasses on. Okay, uh... there. Oh, and you know what? You know how you sigh like that? Right? Yeah. They made a whole video about that, by the way. A video about FYI. my sighing. What, what yes. is that about? I don't know. They made it. Well, that that girl did it. She made like two of them. And it's just like videos of you sighing and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is this girl's problem? You know, throw her ass in jail. Let's see what she does. She'd be crying. Never mind sighing. You know, okay. Um, of course, with the size, with you, the sighs are more of happiness or contentment than, I guess, agitation or just plain boredom or sadness. Yes. Yeah, so you know, when we were talking, like for example, earlier about like, because um, I'm looking at the time, so I can't. I'm not going to say to get into my car yet. I wish you could get in my car. Um, but anyway, we'll do that the next phone call. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> but anyway, um, 
what was I saying? Now my mind is like so sidetracked. Um, oh my God, I can't even remember what I was talking about. What was he saying? Um, uh, I don't know. Something you about our like, texting. <laughs> yeah, something about our texting. Mm. I just, I just want to get there. I want to get there. Yeah. I wanna... And I'm gonna get I... there. If you think I'm blowing smoke, man, I'm not. You have no idea who. If I say I'm gonna do something. I'm going to do it, and I don't give a crap what anybody thinks. That's what I have always been. I, I believe you, baby girl. I believe you, 100%. You know? And, um, and I can't wait to see yeah. you. I just want to wrap my arms around you. <laughs> I know, baby. And, I know. You know, it's good. you're going to have to bend down really low, though, to kiss me. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> but it's, I don't know, I mean... If it helps you I at all, what... I'm not sure how much it's been shown in court, but I do have this bit of a slouch thingy that, well, a lot of the guys in here say it's abnormal. Dad, have you been checked for scoliosis? No, uh, but I can, I'm actually flexible enough to put my own head in my lap, like right near my, uh, <clears throat> you know. Ooh, I wish, <laughs> well, me too, I'm super flexible like you, babe. Yeah. It's like we could play Twister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how are we gonna, but who's going to spin it? We had, Well, we'd have to find a way to spin it. We, yep. we could use the dog, too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, but yeah, it has to be like, um, oh, we'd have to make it really hard. Like, we'd have to take a shower and be slippery and then try I'll to play Twister. Up. <laughs> that would be so oh, funny. Oh, it'd be so fun. <laughs> And, we'd, and it'd probably end with, you know, not with, Dude. instead of twi- getting, twistering around the mat, <laughs> twistering around each other, baby. That's what I'm saying. It might go, like, one round. <laughs> oh, my God. And That's so, you know, I have... Because we're so... Because <laughs> we're so attracted to each other, right? Dude, I have not laughed in years. You have no idea. Like, I have not laughed in years, like... I love you. I I hope I you really you know too. that. I do. You know, um, uh, you really have brightened my life up, and it's amazing. I suppose I should beautiful. start working on my dad jokes. <laughs> oh God! Oh, for um, for Byron and for Hope. For Byron and Hope. Yep. But did you like the concept of the name Hope? Yes. Yes, I loved it. I loved it so much. It's because perfect. it's it's. It's based on what we have to get through this together with our love is hope. Yep. And and to have a child with that name and then to have the other child with your family name and my father's name, I mean, yep. that's beautiful. I mean, not my family name, my middle name. I can't even remember why they picked it, but, you know. Well, that's okay. It, you're going to carry the name on, you know, and that's beautiful. Yep. And, yeah, uh, and... You're so cute. <laughs> you're so cute. And you're so sexy, you know, baby. I know. I just... You know what happens to me? Like, what I feel like... What happens is, is I get, like, these really intense rushes. Like, like, like it's almost like you're sitting next to me and I'm, like, wanting to just go and grab you and, like, hold you. And then it's, like, and I can't. And I'm just like, ugh. You yeah. know? And, um... I get this, Like, you know, too. I'm getting... And... I get that, like, sad. <laughs> so... And I also get you that. Know. Do you get the calming peace sort of sensation at times, too? When you're on the phone with me, every moment that I'm talking to you, I feel at peace. Um, Just, it's better than any energy. sort of, I don't know what they call them, uh, you know. It's better than anything. It's I've never it's felt it anything. before. I don't, yeah. I've never felt it, so I don't even know what to call it. I don't. Um, me neither. You know, um, like, I feel like we really understand each other, and I think that we yeah. have so much in common, um, which makes that happen. Yeah. You know, people, I'm just going to say this as a general statement, people do things that are very unusual and out of their character when put into situations that are not of the norm. And yeah. I think that's what happened to you, and I believe that in my heart. And I see how big your heart is and how much love you have to give, and... I, I cannot... Why do you think I had to start defending you, like, online? Yeah. Because I, I can't listen yeah. to that. I just can't. I know you. They don't know you. <laughs> you know? 
I've heard your voice. I've heard you tell me that you love me, and it doesn't sound like just a bunch of bullshit that I've heard a hundred times before. You know, it's it's different. And the fact that we can't even touch each other, but we still put all this effort in, it's like, I don't know. To me, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful you know? to me too, baby girl. You can't just stand here and stare at my big boobies. Once we're around each other, you can, but like, <laughs> but like, that won't always like, be where I look. I promise. There may I be know, times I know. where it's too hard to resist. <laughs> you, you want How me to be I, gonna... I will. <laughs> and I want. I'm going to be like gro- groping you, like you were saying. I don't know. I I know that I'm not going to be able to help myself. But then we might get in trouble. Yeah. Uh, well, well, once no, it, all this is finished and I'm free, uh, we won't have to worry about getting in trouble, will we? You have one minute left. <laughs> oh, bitch, I don't like her. <laughs> me neither. What can you do, though? You can could, you could still call me back, though, right? Of course. We can talk okay, for good. as long as you want, baby girl. Yeah, I, who's yelling back there? Uh, that was one of the other inmates. Hang on, let me tell him off real quick. He's yelling at me. There we go. (laughs) He's yelling at you? You said what? He's yelling at you? He's calling me E.T. Easy? E.T., you know, from the movie Extraterrestrial. Oh. Yeah, but... He said what? He said what? Anyway. Thank you for using security. Uh, I'll be back. Goodbye. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from. I'm here, baby. And I was like, why does this have to be happening? Like, I want you to come here. If you weren't there, I would be like, just come here, move here, and mm-hmm. start a brand new life, you know? But, you know, I don't know. We have to come up with just positive ways to think of things. And and I really do hope that these friends of yours are really working as far as the legal stuff goes. um, Uh, You know, because... I mean, I'm pretty sure that if I was actually capable of reading one of their letters that they do, they have been working. And... Okay, good. Randy has every other day, as far as I've seen, um, he's sent me a... Um, hang on a second. I, I'm losing my train of thought here. Okay. I need an actual piece of paper. Like, could you grab the paper from my room? Sorry. Uh, I've, Joe just sent me Zap's email, uh, her YouTube, um, yeah, I, and yeah. a title of a video. So, I need to write all this down to give to the guard yeah there's so many videos and um what you call it um yeah i wrote to her i emailed her too so i hope that you should just email can you email her or no no you can't no you can't um so what are you going to do with that are you going to give that stuff to your attorney or like um, what are you going to do the guard said to give it to him and he'll uh he'll look through it or, or he'll check it out well, I just parked somewhere. <laughs> now I can actually relax. You want to know what's funny about when I drive? What? Um, because I'm so short, I have to have my seat, like, all the way up, like, as far as it goes. Uh, <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm so short. Um, but I have to take my jacket off, too. So, yeah, it's it's wild. But um, but anyhow, I miss you, and I it sucked we couldn't talk last night, you know. Yeah, I know that was that was partially on me. I should have remembered that small detail. I'm so sorry, baby girl. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's, and um, I, I'd say it's partially yeah. because I'm so crazily in love with you that you know I get things mixed up because oh. I get excited to talk to you, baby girl. I get excited to talk to you too. You're on my mind twenty four seven. There's never a time when you're not in my head. Like, I'm always thinking about you, wondering what you're doing, just just thinking about you, even if it's not wondering a Wondering if I'm thing. thinking about you. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that too. Um, yeah, I, I like, like I was at work today, and, like, you know, 
yeah. when I'm sitting there, like, you know, when it got, well, like, remember I told you I was rushing around to do my work because I just wanted to sit and chill for a little while. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then I did that. And then I started texting you. Um, but, you know, it was like, Every minute, like, even when I'm busy, like, you're there. And, like, like I told you, I didn't lie. When my coworker asked me straight up, he was like, he's like, do you have a boyfriend? He's like, you know, you don't really, like, talk about much. Because I don't. I'm a private person. I'm, I'm a super yeah. private person. And I'm like, well, actually, yeah, I do. I said, I actually getting married in September. And <laughs> they're like, so he's like, well, I don't see a ring on your finger. And I'm like, well, it's because of certain circumstances. And he's like, well, who is it? I said, it's Paul Ferguson. And he's like, he's like, no. He's like, who is it? And I'm like, no. I said, it's Paul Ferguson. He's like, the guy from, that's still on TV. I'm like, yeah. And he's <laughs> like, oh. He's like, oh, okay. And it's so funny because it's like, um, yeah. I, I think it will actually help me because, you know, I get stalked by like these really weird people all the time. And yeah. Yeah. like I, you know, I mean, I, but I'm not a drinker, by the way. I, I don't, yeah. I don't like to drink. You know, um, like if I, 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 you know, I remember at one point, I'll have like one or two. Eligible to do so, one of my parents <laughs> let me try some, and it's like, okay, nope, nope, never again. Uh, uh-uh. uh, nope. Yeah, I. The only time I'll drink something, it'll be like, like if I have like, um, like if we were together, um, like there's yep, this a one sort of like. Here. Anniversary, cheers, New Year's, cheers, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Something I've been alone special. my whole life. <laughs> Even know. when I wasn't alone, I was alone. You know? Like, I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Even when I was not alone, I was alone. I get that. I don't know if that makes You're sense. You're not physically alone, but mentally, you just feel yeah. like there's no one who's there for you, who cares about you. I know what that feels like. I felt like that before in here quite a bit, honestly, before Joanne and Randy and you especially. Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, he's probably not even going to read my message. He's probably got thousands of them. I don't know if you have how many you've gotten all together from people, but I didn't think that you would respond and you responded pretty quickly, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Even without the picture going through. Oh, you want to? I'm going to give you something to laugh about. Okay, I'm going to read okay. you something. I got I got these emails today regarding those photos I sent you. Hold on, oh, I'm going to tell you what they say. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. Hold on. Um, let me just find it. Okay, so it came from JPay. Okay, and it All says right. that <laughs> it says that that wait. Hold on. Where is it? Hold on a minute. I do. I have so much junk mail. It sucks. Um, I can't believe that this guy said that he would represent you for twenty thousand dollars up front and then five hundred dollars an hour. I'm like, dude, I don't have that kind of money. Um, okay. Yeah, wait. I, you forgot to tell me about the five hundred an hour. That good grief. That's even more. Baby, I would do anything for you if I could do it. If I had the money, I would do it. I would. Yep. So. I totally, totally would. I'm just trying to find this thing here. Hold on. Yeah. I know it's on the email. I want to read it to you because it's really kind of funny. Um, basically, more or less what it says is that they were inappropriate photos. And I'm thinking, I'm like, and I went through, because like the ones that I sent you most recently are like in the front of my picture thing because I saved them from my, um, mm-hmm. what do you call it? It's, um, what's that memory thing called? From Dropbox. So... Yeah which is something on an iPhone that basically backs everything up. So I know I had an iPhone on the out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what you had. I, I was I had, an Android girl for years. Yeah, I had an, I had an iPhone on the out. Oh, I just want to be with you. <laughs> I just want to be know, with you. I know, baby girl. I want to be with you, yeah. too. Hmm. So, like, and by the way, what you said was so romantic about the ring thing, about how you would still propose to me in person. Of um, course. Gosh. I think, I, I, even I think if, I'm... you know, it's pre-planned and both already know it's going to happen, I think it still deserves that. You deserve that. Yes. Every girl who has <laughs> the best, who has the perfect man deserves that to be. But you, you are more than anyone. And you're my perfect And you know I'm going to be. You're my perfect man, and I know that whoever is left in my life may not support this relationship, and I'm not going to lie to you about that. Actually, I can tell you 
probably everyone that I know, which is hardly anyone, <laughs> is probably going to think I'm crazy, but I'm still going to choose you. Because you know what? My whole life, all I ever did was try to please people and to gain acceptance, and I never try got to fit it. Try yourself even when I tried. into the box of the society, societal norms. You know, yeah. so it's like they can all I was fit themselves so perfectly sheet. into that box, and it's so hard for some of us. I know that feeling. I'm. I was always out of place. Never understood. Never seen as normal. And I'm not normal. Who wants to be normal? Normal is boring. I love you. I love the way you are. I love, like, people, like, even say that, like, when you talk, like I said, like, people are comparing you to Norman Bates. And I'm like, well, I'm like, actually, Norman Bates, back in the day when the first movie came out that he was in, like, the original, not the one that they redid. I don't know if you saw that or not, but, um, but basically, back in the day, that actor had so many, like, girls that were like in love with him because they thought he was hot <laughs> so i'm like they think they're insulting you but back in the time when that it was a black and white movie had come out that actor was like considered to be like a really good looking guy he was he was built like you that's why i think they're saying it because he was very tall and you know Mikey. had your physique oh. i love your physique i love it i don't like muscly guys by the way yeah. i don't like that like i don't i hate like muscly looking dudes and don't They're be one of those guys people. Ugh, I just don't like it I don't I don't like muscly stuff and then it's like weird. I, I always, don't I guess for the most part it's not I'll, I'll be honest with you I had this stereotype stereotype stuck in my head for so long that girls sound muscle attractive but it's nice to know that there's someone who well, doesn't I suppose find like no? I, I don't like attractive. it at all. Oh, I find I, I love your lankiness. I love it. It's I've so been sexy. Told You're that, so beautiful. Uh, I have um, what is it? Something uh, I can't remember. Something to do with my face, my cheekbones. Well, I get a little beautiful cheekbones. Yeah, it makes me look more handsome. I've been told. At least, you're very like I say, I would, I would be if, you know, I wasn't here, of course. Not in a, like, yes, gay yeah. way, but, you know. Wait, what'd you just say? Not in a gay way? Yeah, not in a gay way. They, they say that they're saying it's not in a gay way, but, like, a fast-type deal, you know? Look handsome Who if you weren't that? here. Uh, my bones oh. made that point, because, you know, slashing cheekbones, I think it's called. You you just have beautiful cheekbones. Your face is chiseled. It's beautiful. I love it. I just want to touch your face. <laughs> I want to touch your face so bad. I do. Um, but yeah, has have you had any fights there or anything? Has anybody messed with you? Uh, I've I've pissed people off. I'll be honest. How? Mainly okay. just because I was pissed off at them. Okay. Uh, let's see. The well, first incident was with a guy named TJ and. Not many people in here like him, mm-hmm. but I was agitated one day and called him the B word, and I also called him a boy. Mm-hmm. But you know, B O I, boy, type deal. And yeah. he didn't, you know, physically like he didn't punch me, but he he did catch me by surprise in my cell with a smack. Oh, it didn't draw blood or nothing. It was just <laughs> like, oh wow. Of course, that pissed me off, but, you know, it was, I was basically the one who started You have one minute left. A bitch. Because so. in prison, that's a fight word. Do they know why you're there or no? Uh, a lot of them do, yeah. Even if I don't tell them. Okay, because that, that actually makes me feel a little bit relieved that nobody's come after you because of... Yeah, the... yeah, definitely. Uh, that, that makes me feel a little bit better. We're going to get disconnected. I have as much time as you have, though. Yep. My uh, time. Man, TJ's <laughs> breath smelled like shit. He had almost every single piece in his mouth rotting, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, baby. You're and so funny. And I'm pretty sure, no, I'm definitely sure at one point, I was asleep during it, but the other guys heard it. Apparently he fucked his bunk. Yeah, I think about stuff like that going on there, too. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't that bunky. <laughs> but 
but that's what I'm saying. You're good looking like that. Thank you for using Secure. Ah, Goodbye. Hell. Hello. This is a prepaid collect call from. There she is. Hey, sexy butt. Hi. So we were talking about, yeah, we were talking about like, like the gay stuff that guys do in jail. Um, yeah. That's the you, only one that I've ever. I've never seen it. I didn't even hear it. According to all the other guys, it was in the middle of the night. And they hear the slapping. Oh, God. And oh his poor Bunky was also, I'm pretty sure he was mentally, you know, not all there. Oh, that's really yeah. bad. Oh, my God. Yep. Can, I ask, can I ask you a straight-up question? Go ahead. Because you can't have, you know, sexual relations with me, if a guy wanted to give you a blowjob, would you let him? No. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right, cool. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. That's good. No, I was wondering because some guys that are straight, they'll like, like I remember like one time I went to um, a barbecue when I first moved because I knew people that lived. In- so anyway, like everybody was like, I wasn't drinking, but everybody was drunk, and they and somehow that topic came up, like like how much money would the guys that were there accept? You're basically like, 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 basically, like, I basically was like, so if somebody gave you a thousand dollars, a man gave you guys a thousand dollars, you, who would actually allow that? And I was shocked at how many people said that they would. I'm like, what? Like, no. Like, I'm, in prison is probably nothing. Yeah. I was just Besides, like, I'd lose oh. 500 of it instantaneously to the freaking court fines and whatnot. <laughs> So no, what was the point of getting paid five hundred bucks if, uh, or a thousand bucks if I lose half of it instantaneously? There's no point. Even if I <laughs> did consider it, which would never happen. <laughs> oh man, no, I, I didn't think you would say yes, but I had to ask that question. You know, if we're going to be together. <laughs> yeah, I get that. You know, I know that I'll Has definitely have to. You? No. I know that I'll definitely have to protect my ass in prison, though, from what I've heard. Oh. Be careful mm. oh, not yeah, to drop the will. soap, as they say. Oh, I'm so nervous for you. I can't. Oh, I'm... Um, I, I just... Oh. Yeah. Like I said, uh, I, don't... The, uh, I, I have titanium... People have told me I have titanium knees. If you remember the... Yes! Yeah. Yep. Yes, I remember dude, that text. It, it wasn't even that I need him in the crotch. It was that the dude was running in the hall, wasn't watching where he was going, and ran into my knee. He was down for a good five to ten minutes. And when he finally managed to speak properly, not in this high, squeaky bullshit, mm-hmm. he, he literally asked, Do you got a titanium endoprothesis? <laughs> he should have said, Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, so no, no, I was, I thought about that. I'm like, you know, he's so gorgeous. Like, are all these guys going to be trying to, like, do stuff to him, you know? Mm, trust me, if I have to use use my legs to defend myself, they're a lot stronger than my arms. Yeah, nobody can touch you except for me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I won't let anyone and, uh, touch you but me. Touch me no, but you. No, hell no. Or you but Yeah. <laughs> You know what I was going for there. Yeah, you're so cute. No, I don't, I don't, even before you and I started talking, like I said, like, I, I've been through this two year, like, period of time that I just kind of, like, was like, all right, I gotta rebuild myself and get away from all these toxic people, because I had a lot of toxic people in my life, and, um, and I did it, and I've been super lonely and dead inside, but I said, you know what? It was almost kind of like a cleansing from my past. Like, I needed to just... Yeah. I needed to be single for a couple of years, you know? Like, I just needed yeah. to be, like, yep. alone, you know? And yeah. um, and all that kind of stuff. And figure out, what do I want from a man? Because I was always treated badly. Um, yeah. yeah. And never, ever compromising that again, you know? Yep. And people may say, oh, well, if you're marrying somebody from prison... Um, but you know what? They don't know you. They don't know what we share. And I have never in my life started talking to somebody and hit it off so fast. Like I said, I'm usually I when it comes to like 
like to guys and stuff like I'm a very like slow moving type of person with relationships like you have no idea like I'm if you like saw me around other people you'd be like oh my god this isn't the same girl like <laughs> you know but I'm pretty sure you stand way. out in a crowd to me well you would stand out to me if I saw you in public if you weren't on the news you know <laughs> um uh, but you know I mean even you even are in, like school and everything my friends who were mm-hmm. female, it yeah. was sort of that slow sort of, you know, uh, hi, hi, um, uh, how, how are you, uh, <laughs> you know, but with you, it's just like, hi, how you doing? You want to know why? Because we're best friends, too. You have to be best friends with the person that you love. Yep. Because then... Think about it. Like, people too often, I think a big mistake with relationships is that people too often consider their significant other just as their spouse or their girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, And then another problem that I've seen is people meet their significant other's um, public personality. No, what you get from me is what you're, like, I I swear on my father's soul, when you see me in person... I'm exactly the person that you're talking to. I look exactly like I do in my pictures. Like, there's not going to be any surprises, I promise. There's nothing that I've done to mislead you or anything. Um, not with my personality. You've even told me that you have, uh, you have either blonde or dark hair, you know? So, if you come in and oh, don't I have blonde hair, hair it'll be, it'll be, it won't be any surprise. They'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah. But your face is definitely face. recognizable. You think so? Yes. You know what's funny? You know what my nickname was for so many years, and I don't even know if you'll know this show because you were young. You know, you're younger than me. But um, did you ever see a show or hear of a show called Married with Children? Said said what's it called? It was called Married with Children, and there's a girl, Christina Applegate, and she was Mm, in it. Not that I remember of. No. Well, she was like this girl that had like long blonde hair like me because Nick- when I was in high school my nickname was Blondie um, uh, and I always really had super super long hair and the only reason like my hair right now it's like halfway down my back but I've always had super long hair and what I did like I told you I didn't really give you the details but basically back in 20 what was it 2019 I think no actually 2018 or 20- yeah 2018 I went through this period of my life where I was just in this dark place and um, and my hair was like white blonde and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to dye my hair black. Um, yep. And my hair, I don't, like I said, um, you know, I kind of remember the pictures you said you got, but I did send you pictures of me with my natural hair color. I sent you pictures of me like in every way so that like you could see me. I sent you full body pictures so that you knew. <laughs> you know, like you weren't going to meet some 300 pounder, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. But of I course, sure I said, they said, oh, that, you can't you know? do this. <sighs> and I, it said that they were too, they said that it was inappropriate photos that I sent to you. They were not inappropriate just because, like I said, I have big boobs. That none of the pictures were inappropriate at all. They weren't slutty. I wasn't wearing like any kind of mini skirts or anything. Like I said, it's just really hard to hide them. Um, yeah. you know, I, they, I, I get it. <laughs> I understand. But it makes me mad because you think they're going to refund me for that, so I can send you other pictures. I don't. No. I don't know. I just, no, they won't. As far no, as I've seen, won't. it literally says when you open the e-messages for me anyway, stamps are non-refundable. So yeah, how does it work when I sent you those pictures? How do you get them? Um, I'm not. It doesn't. The funny thing is, that it doesn't appear as an email at first. I don't see the email and they'll let me know. Uh, it appears the photos will appear inside of my gallery under snap and send. You know, oh, snap and send, okay. or there's a couple in here with actually different uh, subjects. There's one from you that's hi, or yeah, I think that one's from you. Might have been one of the ones that uh, Firkin sent me at one point. I don't even remember at this point. Uh, there's okay. hey and That's finally true. found you. I know that finally found you is you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That girl that's in her forties. I'm a little nervous about her. Hey, don't worry. Like I said, she's she said she's pretty. We've both set we've both set the boundary. 
and her you don't have to worry about her daughter either. Her daughter is not straight. <laughs> I know, but but how did she reach out to you? Probably the same way I did. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, she was uh, sending a lot of postcards at first. I think at one one day I got like three. But of course, that's because oh. the freaking mail system here is slow as hell. I don't feel any right. any of the things that I feel when I talk to you. I promise. But that's okay. It was before you knew me, so I can't like yes. be mad about it. Yes, and I promise you, there's nothing going on between her and me, and there never will be. Like I said, she's called me sweetie and cutie in letter and in one phone call, but that was literally it. Okay, so it wasn't... And I, I, that was when, you know, when I sent you the text that she called me those, that was when I texted her and set the boundary. Let her know, hey, this is what's going on. Okay. So, all right. Okay. I have to trust you. I trust you. <laughs> I love you I trust so much, you. baby girl. I can't I love wait, you too. You know? I know, I want to come visit you so bad, and I have the money to do it right now because I got my income tax check. So, like, <laughs> if it wasn't for my income tax check, I probably wouldn't even be able to talk to you as much as I do. Um, yeah. But, like, I'm I'm just hoping that, like, I don't want this to have to, like, wait, like, years, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be yeah, with you, like, now. I know, baby. I know, baby. So do I. You know, and it doesn't matter. I don't even... At this point, like, of course I want you out of there, but... At the same time, it's like I also like, you know, just to be around you and to be in the same state as you and to be able to see you, you know, mm-hmm. all the time. You know, mm-hmm. that's like, yeah, I want to be able to do that. It sucks. I hate it. First yeah. I'm here, no one, and then I fall in love with you and who's in Michigan, of all places. Um, I know. I know. I'm going to actually look on my GPS. I want to see how far you are from me. Oh, it's actually not that far. Oh. I just, I just don't want people you to have think one that, like, I'm getting weird. Oh, so God. What? Sorry, that like, stinking thing major, that thing muffled you. You don't want people to what? I don't know. I don't want you to go again. you got to keep calling me back. I know, baby girl. I know. So that's how much I want to say to you. I know. So, you know, but uh, but you're okay. I mean, do you ever get depressed? No, especially not since I've been able to talk to you, baby girl. Good, good. I hope that I keep you at least a little bit more okay. You've made you know? me very happy. Oh, there's a song by a band called Blood, Sweat, and Tears called You've Made Me So Very Happy. I wish I could send you music. Yeah. I'd be sending you so many songs. <laughs> like that song that I sent you the lyrics to today. Yep. You know, I know we're going to get disconnected. I want to start a new sentence, so I'm like, okay, when is it going to cut off? <laughs> Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye.